Welcome to the Nutritionist channel. We all know sugar is sweet, but what goes on inside your body after that bite? It's like a thrilling roller coaster ride on your blood sugar. Soaring highs, sudden drops, and maybe even a crash landing. Today, we're ditching the confusion and taking control with the ultimate guide to the glycemic index or GI, your personal roadmap to navigating the sweet world of sugars and additives. Imagine GI as a scorecard for how quickly food raises your blood sugar. Glucose, the king of sweetness, sits at a perfect score of 100. Everything else gets compared to it. For folks with diabetes or insulin sensitivity, this roller coaster ride can be pretty scary, leading to health risks like heart disease and even diabetes. Understanding GI of different sugars and additives is like having a map for your energy journey. It helps you make informed choices, avoid those nasty crashes, and even keep cravings at bay. In this video, we're cracking the codes on 26 types of sugars and additives that are hidden in processed foods to reveal their glycemic index. Stick around until the very end of this video where we reveal two natural sweeteners with a glycemic index of zero. Can you believe it? This list excludes the mysterious world of sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners, which will be uncovered in another video. So don't worry. Are you ready? Buckle up, and here we go. Maltodextrin, glycemic index 105. Maltodextrin is a common additive in processed foods, acting as a thickener or filler in many snacks, drinks, and even certain medications. During digestion, it can elevate blood sugar faster than glucose. Maltose, glycemic index 105. Found in germinating grains and produced from starch, maltose is broken down into two glucose molecules during digestion, causing a spike in blood sugar. Glucose, glycemic index 100. Found in fruits, sweetened beverages, and various processed foods, Glucose is the simplest form of sugar and is easily digested and rapidly absorbed, causing a quick spike in blood sugar. Dextrose, glycemic index 100. Dextrose is a type of glucose that is also known as D-glucose, mostly derived from corn starch. It is biochemically the same as glucose. Wheat syrup, glycemic index 100. Wheat syrup is produced from wheat starch and is used as a sweetener in some processed foods including baked goods, sauces, and condiments. Light corn syrup, glycemic index 100. Light corn syrup is a sweet syrup made from cornstarch. It's a common ingredient in candies, frostings, and sweet sauces. Rice syrup, glycemic index 98. Rice syrup is derived from brown rice and is often used as a sweetener in natural and organic products. It's commonly found in energy bars, cereals, and some beverages. Dark corn syrup, glycemic index 90. Dark corn syrup, made from cornstarch, is often used as a sweetener in baking and candy making. It adds moisture and sweetness to various recipes. The dark coloring is from added molasses and caramel. High fructose corn syrup, glycemic index 87. Widely used in sweetened beverages, processed foods, and baked goods. High fructose corn syrup is broken down into glucose and fructose. Fructose is only digested by the liver and excessive intake of processed foods with high amounts of fructose contents should be cautioned. Brown sugar, glycemic index 70. Basically white sugar mixed with molasses, brown sugar is used in baking, cooking, and beverages. It is broken down into glucose and fructose during digestion, similar to white sugar. Sucrose, table sugar, glycemic index 65. Naturally found in sugar cane and sugar beets, sucrose is used in processed foods and soft drinks as a sweetener, in syrup processing, confectionery, preserves and jams. It is broken down in the digestive system into glucose and fructose. Honey, glycemic index 58. Produced by bees, honey is a versatile sweetener used in various culinary applications. It's found in baked goods, dressings, and beverages. Molasses. Glycemic index 55. A byproduct of sugar refining, molasses is used in baking, marinades, and as a sweetener in certain dishes. Chicory syrup, glycemic index 55. Derived from the root of the chicory plant, chicory syrup is often used as a sweetener in coffee substitutes. It's also found in some baked goods and desserts. Chicory syrup is high in inulin, which is a soluble fiber and prebiotic that is beneficial for gastrointestinal health. 
Date sugar, glycemic index 55. Derived from dried dates. Date sugar is a natural sweetener often used as a substitute for refined sugar. It's commonly found in baking recipes, adding a caramel-like flavor. Coconut sugar, glycemic index 54. Similar to brown sugar but with a hint of caramel flavor, coconut sugar is derived from the sap of coconut trees, used as a sweetener in cooking and baking. Maple syrup, glycemic index 54. Tapped from maple trees, maple syrup is a natural sweetener used on pancakes, waffles, and in baking. It adds a unique taste to both sweet and savory dishes. Sorghum syrup, glycemic index 50. Sorghum syrup, extracted from the juice of sorghum grass, is a natural sweetener. It's commonly used in baking, marinades, and glazes. Tapioca syrup, glycemic index 46. Extracted from the cassava plant, tapioca syrup is a sweetener used in various processed foods, including candies, desserts, and some beverages. Lactose, glycemic index 46. As a natural sugar present in milk and dairy products, lactose requires the enzyme lactase for digestion. Some individuals, especially those with lactose intolerance, may have difficulty digesting lactose. Yacon syrup, glycemic index 40. Extracted from the yacon plant, yacon syrup is used as a natural sweetener. It's popular in low-calorie diets due to its low caloric content. Yacon syrup contains fructooligosaccharides or FOS, and inulin, which are prebiotics that are beneficial for gastrointestinal health. Galactose, glycemic index 23. Found in dairy products and some legumes, galactose is also formed when lactose is hydrolyzed to glucose and galactose by lactase during digestion. The body can further convert galactose into glucose for energy. Fructose, glycemic index 19. Found in fruits and honey, fructose is used as a sweetener in various processed foods, often in the form of high fructose corn syrup. Fructose is only digested by the liver. Excessive intake of processed foods with high amounts of fructose can lead to fatty liver or liver steatosis. Agave nectar, glycemic index 17. Extracted from the agave plant, agave nectar is used as a natural sweetener in various foods and beverages. The high fructose content of up to 90% in agave nectar may pose issues in the liver if consumed excessively. Stevia extract, glycemic index 0. Derived from the leaves of the stevia plant, stevia extract is a popular natural sweetener that is 200 to 300 times sweeter than sugar but is zero on the glycemic index. The intense sweetness is from unique compounds called steviol glycosides from the leaves of the stevia plant. It is used in beverages, desserts, and as a sugar substitute in cooking, but may have a bitter aftertaste in concentrated forms. Monk fruit extract, glycemic index zero. Monk fruit extract comes from the monk fruit and is a natural sweetener that is 100 to 250 times sweeter than table sugar but is zero on the glycemic index. The intense sweetness is from unique antioxidants called mogrosides. It is used in various products like beverages, desserts, and as a sugar substitute. That's it. We have unearthed the codes of 26 sugars, including two natural sweeteners with a zero GI. It's been a sweet journey, hasn't it? Remember, the glycemic index isn't a magic wand, but it's a powerful tool. Use it to navigate the sugar world to keep blood sugar spikes under control for a healthy, energetic life. Embrace whole foods, listen to your body, and make informed choices that fit your unique needs and preferences. And hey, if you still crave a little sweetness, explore those zero GI champions we discovered. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, Sugar Sleuths. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more healthy adventures, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.